Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Mikey here from Disco 2 Overland. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over and showing you guys the top five things that either annoyed the crap out of me or that I hate about my Land Rover Discovery Series 2. Let's get into it. The first thing that I hated about this truck and that I switched out immediately was the headlights. The bulbs were so bad and so dim and yellow. And I understand it's an older truck, but they just, they had to go. I went with headlight experts, LED bulbs. They were 99 bucks. Best thing I've ever done to this truck. Feel like you're driving a new car at night and you can actually see, you don't even need all the off-road lights. The next thing that sucks about this truck is the engine. Head gaskets always fail on these things if you don't take care of them. Well, actually on any truck they go. Um, they run pretty hot. It's an old Buick engine. I think it's got like 188 horsepower. This is the 4.0. It's just so slow. And, you know, it works, but having some more power to move this thing would be a lot nicer. Definitely works hard to move this truck. The next thing that I hate about this truck is the size of the rear door. When you open it up, that's, that's it. And when you look, you got like no room to get in this car and the wheel well comes all the way out, which I love for off-roading. So there is some good things about it, shorter wheelbase. But whenever you try to put things in the back or, or have passengers, it's just the door doesn't open enough and you got like 12 inches of opening to get in or to get around this hump of the wheel well. So it, it is kind of annoying. Um, Cause I do daily drive the truck, but as an off-roader, it's awesome having a short wheelbase and, and a small rear door. So, you know, there are some pros and cons to it, but as a daily driver, it does get annoying. Making our way inside. So as everybody knows who has a D2, the sunroofs, all they do is leak. Well, mine don't anymore, but I hated every moment of fixing them. I had to do the motors, the mechanisms, the drain cups that are right here. They snap because dumbass has made them out of plastic and it just floods the whole headliner out. So that really sucks about these trucks is basically any discovery that you buy, you got to do the sunroofs immediately. And usually then nothing works because everything got wet. And the last thing that I hate, the three amigos. I've gone through the wheel hub, uh, the option B bypass on the shuttle valve. I've done, I think four sensors, four or five sensors. Um, and you know, did the straight run all the way down to the Wabco and they're back. They just keep coming back. Every time I go off roading or do something, the sensor breaks and the nanocom will not clear them. So something is keep breaking these sensors, but I hate how fragile the sensors are and how all they do is break. So I'm up here going on and I'm going to show you P1590 is my code and I've been dealing with this code for over two years and you know, spent 700 bucks and nothing. So this is probably number one of what I hate about this car. These stupid three amigos. So that's it. That's my top five things that I hate about this truck. But in every truck, you're going to have those weird quirks and features that you're not going to like. Uh, those are my top five things that just I hate. Um, but that's it. It's a great truck. I love it. As you can see, I've you know done plenty of mods to it. Um, you can't really go wrong. Well, actually, you can really go wrong with these trucks. Uh, but you just got to keep those five things in mind. Or for some of you, not all five. But, um, you know, the engine, the sunroofs, the Amigos. Keep those in mind and you fix them and keep them running like that. And... You're not really going to have many more issues, at least, you know, from my ownership. Had a little over two years, got 133,000 miles almost. Um, yeah, that's it. Not a lot of problems. But yeah, definitely lacking some power. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram at Disco2Overland. Now I'm stuck behind some slow trucks. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in the next one.